we lost Mike Flanagan tonight. Flanny was 59, he was gonna be 60 coming up in December, and this rumor had been making its rounds over your iPhone here tonight and on your computer all night long, but just minutes ago, Oriole owner Peter Angelos, who lives right across the street from the police activity tonight at Mike Flanagan's house, announced to all of Baltimore that it is indeed Mike Flanagan's last day on Earth. Um, I wanna read a statement from Cal Ripken. We just got in touch with Cal, and. Cal is saying uh, that I want to express my deepest sorrow to Mike and his family with Alex and the passing. He was an Oriole through and through and he will be sorely, sorely missed. Hall of Famer Eddie Murray knows about the news out in California. Rich Dow, Rick Dempsey who works with Masson. Mike Flanagan won the Cy Young in 1979 and in, and in 1983 he was part of a world championship team. He became a pitching coach for the Orioles, moved up in the front office, became Peter's right hand man when he was a general manager. And we'll all remember Mike Flanagan is throwing that final pitch at Oriole Park when they brought him out of that bullpen and he took the round and he took the mound for the final time at Memorial Stadium to say goodbye. And here we are saying goodbye to Mike Flanagan tonight. It is unthinkable that a man like this would die. We still don't know the way he died. His body was found on his property near his barn. He loved to go fly fishing with one of his best friends, Dan Roddicks from the Baltimore Sun. And his oldest daughter was the fourth test tube baby in the United States history. Uh, Mike and his wife, uh, Alex, lived a long time out here in Sparks, Maryland, and uh, Mike Flanagan is going to be sorely missed. And the one story I remember is when he was pitching, we had a pitcher named Storm Davis, we had Hall of Famer Jim Palmer, and he called Palmer Cy Yold, he called Storm Davis Cy Young, and he called himself Cy Present. Tonight, we lost Cy Present. Jamie Costello live tonight in Sparks. Kelly? And Jamie, again, just to reiterate, police on the scene, but still no details about how he died, where he was found? No. no. Well, he was found on his property near his barn right here in Sparks. It's about uh, not too far from where I'm standing here tonight. Police are still out there, but they're not releasing how he died here tonight. All right, Jamie Castello, we'll check back with you a little bit later in the show. Thanks for that report.